Politics, commentary, entertainment, sports, news, and opinion. Now, here is Steve Malsberg. All right, folks, you know what you love it. It's the Friday edition of the uh, Malsberg panel. And uh, joining us once again on the panel, criminal defense attorney Janet Johnson and senior partner and owner of the uh, law offices of Adam M. Thompson. Uh, it was also a syndicated talk show host is Adam M. Thompson, uh, oddly enough. Uh, welcome to both of you. The president speaking right now. And let's start with immigration. Um, not only did the president uh, talk about uh, the the uh, bill that he wants to get for the 3.75 billion in funding to uh, what he says uh, help uh, alleviate the border crisis right now, the humanitarian crisis with the kids. Of course, he also wants uh, comprehensive immigration reform, and he has made two statements. He made a statement on uh, saying, while they are on vacation, I'll have to make tough choices with or without Congress, talking about. Overall immigration reform, which many think means he's going to use his pen to, uh, to uh, grant amnesty to six million people. And he indicated he will do the same with, I don't know how he's going to get the money, uh, with the, um, the request for his uh, funding for the uh, current border crisis. So let me start with you, Janet. Uh, is this not a man who's out of control uh, and, and, and is just not living up to what the, uh, the Constitution says he should do and how he should act? No, I think if you take out the word man and you put in Congress, we have a Congress that's out of control, that they can go on vacation having done essentially nothing. They can complain that the border is unsecured, but they can't pass a bill to fix it. We go through this every summer. They don't want immigration reform. They just don't want it, and they're not going to do it, and everyone's fed up with it. Well, I don't know. Well, we're talking about two separate issues here, uh, um, Adam, the uh, the, uh, the the the. $4 billion request, which uh, Congress in the House, they were looking at a $600 million uh, request for the rest of the fiscal year. Um, and, but the overall issue of, uh, of immigration reform, you know, you could say that Congress did nothing, or you could say the elected representatives of the people decided that they're not going to pass this. That's, they're not going to do it. That's what they, and, if, and let the chips fall where they may. Where, Adam, does it give the president the right to then issue a, an executive order the magnitude of, of the one he's threatening to issue? You know, this, this idea of the executive orders with Obama is getting a little bit out of control, but this would be the whopper of all whoppers to basically do an executive order that might amount to basically amnesty for millions upon millions of illegal immigrants that are in this country. That's an issue that should be decided by Congress. That's what they're there to do to pass laws to this effect. And the president even said that as much himself on numerous occasions when asked about this. Who has the authority to do this? He said it was Congress. He didn't say it was him. And if he does go through with this and he does do an executive order. Uh-oh. All right. I, I don't know if that was uh, the, NS, the NSA or he didn't pay his phone bill. Uh, but it's we'll try. Do we have Do we have Adam back? No. All right. We're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to try to try to get him back uh, on the phone or something. Uh, so, but but Janet, I mean, he, he makes a he makes a lot of points. Uh, it, it's not the president's job to say, well, Congress won't do it, so I have to do it. I mean, well, especially when you're talking about something the magnitude of immigration reform, which is going to affect uh, every economic aspect in this country. It's it's going to affect so many things. Uh, right. America doesn't want a, 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 a king. Well, and it won't be amnesty. I mean, I don't think that's what he's saying. But I think if people who were complaining that he didn't go look at the border that's so unsecured and their malicious forming in Texas, something obviously has to be done. I think if you polled Americans, they would agree we need immigration reform. And it happens every year. And Congress punts every year. And I think if the president, who is not setting records with executive orders, despite... Job, and I have like wait, 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 Adam, 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 one second. All right, all right, Adam's back. Let, let, Adam, let Adam weigh in. Go ahead, finish up, Adam. Well, let me, let me tell you, Steve, you know, uh, it, it's so much to this. You know, there's a lot of rumors that I'm hearing from my end where Obama may just push this amnesty uh, bit so far to incite conservatives and Republicans to want to then say, how can you take such a sweeping measure and then push for impeachment again, which he's then going to use to try to do more fundraising. So there's a lot of method behind the madness going on and lots of rumors floating out there. But I think it's going to be disastrous if he really tries to push this. He's going to hurt Democrats along the borders trying to get elected. Well, they've already raised almost $5 million 
4.8 off of impeachment to the Congressional Campaign Committee, the DCCC, um, in the past week. Uh, there are a lot of vulnerable people out there, I guess. Let's talk about another um, uh, Obama uh, fixture. By the way, Janet, the, the Obama controlled both branch, both uh, houses of uh, the Senate and the, uh, and the House, I should say, both branches of Congress, for two years. And they never brought up immigration reform. So, you know, that, 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 this nonsense that, that, that Republicans are an impediment here and uh, it's their fault. Two years, he could have done anything he wanted to virtually, and he had 60 votes, and he did nothing on immigration reform and a host of other issues, by the way. He could have raised the minimum wage. He could have done whatever he wanted to do. But all he cared he about was uh, Obamacare. He did health care. And What's that? that? Was pretty I mean, yes, he did health care. I think that was his promise to Ted Kennedy when he endorsed him. And he did get it done, even though we're still arguing about it today. And people wanted that done. So, I mean, you're right. He spent his capital on one thing, but that doesn't mean he only gets to accomplish one thing in eight years. I don't think. All right. Well, there's a new, there's a, there's a new Kaiser family poll out today. And it shows that uh, the, uh, the uh, Affordable Care Act has reached its height of unpop unpopularity, if, that, if you will. 53% of Americans now have an unfavorable impression, and that is the highest on record and an increase of eight percentage points in just one month. So his signature uh, promise to Ted Kennedy, it's so heartwarming, but it's made a mess of our uh, medical uh, system. It's going to only make it worse as we go along, and people don't like it, Janet. Well, I think people who have insurance under the Affordable Care Act do like it. And I've heard the polls differ, whether it's called Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act. But the Supreme Court, yeah, it's undermined its popularity. I think any time that there's rulings, and we just had another one last week that says, you know, this portion's not constitutional, though the Supreme Court has said it is constitutional, but then the Hobby Lobby decision, the decision last week that we discussed, I think that the public opinion is eroding just based on that. That's that's for certain. All right, all right. Adam, only 37% Adam, only, only like it in this latest poll. That's the Supreme Court's fault? It isn't. You know, the public speaks what they think, and that's what they think. I and mean, the numbers may actually even be higher, Steve. You know, what's ironic is there's a good margin of error in a lot of these poll takings, so it could actually be a higher number. You know, I'm a business owner myself. I've been running my own law firm for 25 years. If you're a business owner and you have to provide this type of measure, the way it's been drafted in Obamacare, it's hurting a lot of small businesses. There's absolutely a All right, guys, way. guys, stay where you are. Jan Janet Johnson, stay where you are. Adam Thompson, stay where you are. We're coming back with part two of the Molesburg panel. If you want to reach us on social media, here's how you can do it. Stay tuned for your Newsmax Now update.